let's see the hardware setup uh, for the double clap switch this is a relay module uh, this I have this type of relay module has uh, four relays you can see here four relays and uh, here this is a 12 volt uh, relay type so we have to connect the 12 volt and a ground here and these are the input pins if the one this uh, first pin of the relay is triggered this relay will be activated this is the first relay so <clears throat> here you can see that uh, this is in this relay uh, one relay we have two connections one is for normally closed and another is for normally open if you connect the uh, circuit to the normally closed switch the circuit will be always uh, in a closed condition which means that uh, if you are connecting a, a bulb uh, to this light bulb to this the light bulb will be glowing always so if you are triggering the fourth pin of the uh, relay the bulb will be open which means the bulb will be stop glowing so I'm going to use the normally open which means that uh, <clears throat> when you are triggering the relay and the bulb will start to glow so this is a bulb holder and a plug <clears throat> I cut the black wire so see here uh, we are going to connect these two uh, wires to the relay so whenever uh, the relay is triggered it will be joined like this so there will be a relay pin that will join these two pins let's connect this to the relay So you can see here, <clears throat> I have connected a relay to this. So, so you can see here, I have connected my uh, bulb holder to the relay like this. <clears throat> uh, please make sure that uh, you should not connect the uh, different wire to the relay pin. So you have to cut the same wire and you have to connect to the relay because that uh, this is going to be act as a switch so this is going to connect these two wires so the cut wire will be connected when the relay is activated <clears throat> and this is a normal sound sensor this is a digital uh, sound sensor because <clears throat> whenever the microphone here detects a sound external sound or a vibration it start to send a 5 volt as a output so you can see here it has a VCC uh, the first pin is a VCC the second pin is a uh, ground and the third pin is a output I'm going to connect this to my Arduino <clears throat> I'm connecting the output of the microphone to the Arduino 12th pin so that as I have set as the input to the Arduino and uh, the ground pin of the microphone 
to the Arduino ground and the BCC of the sound sensor to my 5 volt in the Arduino circuit is over for the my, my sound sensor six pin of the Arduino to the relay board six pin of the Arduino to the fourth pin of the relay because the fourth pin uh, connected the external bulb to the fourth relay so connected the sixth pin I have assigned the 6 pin of the Arduino as a output and there is 2 more pins I need to connect that is to um, power up the relay module so I am going to connect the V in pin of V in pin of Arduino to the 12 volt input and uh, ground pin of the relay module to the ground <clears throat> so the circuit is over so here you can see that I have a 9 <clears throat> 9 volt adapter I'm going to use this adapter to power up my Arduino and this is the plug for the bulb connecting So connected this like this. Going to switch on the circuit. I can see how I switch on. Uh, let's double clap and check it how it works. So this is how the double clap works. Um, <clears throat> see, uh, if I clap uh, one time, it don't switch on. So if you double clap, if you double clap, it will switch on. If you double clap again, it will switch off. It won't turn on when the <clears throat> false trigger occurs. So even if it takes a vibration, it won't turn on. So only if you if it if the sound sensor takes a <clears throat> double clap or a double trigger, then the circuits will turn on. See? So these are the false trigger. So it won't turn on. So if you take a double trigger this will uh, turned on